Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today I've got a really fun collection video for you. Much like many of you guys I'm sure, I grew up watching so much Disney Channel. It was like my favourite thing to do. I used to come home after school, put on Lizzie McGuire, put on That's So Raven. That's So Raven was one of my favourites. So was um, so was Kim Possible. Um, I loved Hannah Montana. Uh, of course I loved High School Musical. And the Cheetah Girls, oh my goodness, honestly this is my childhood. And of course, as a doll collector, um, throughout the years I have been collecting and am now surrounded by Disney Channel dolls. And I thought today I would go through all my Disney Channel dolls and basically show you my complete collection. Before we get started, let me just say, if you like doll collecting, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check me out on Instagram. Also comment and let me know if you have any High School Musical dolls, which of my dolls you like. If you watch Disney Channel, what were your favourite shows? I want to hear from you guys. Um, anyway, let's get started. So I thought a good place to start would be with this kind of unusual um, uh, Lizzie McGuire doll. Uh, you can kind of call it a doll, it's got clothes on, the hair is obviously sculpted, but this is her in her kind of cartoon form. Um, this was one of the earliest Disney Channel dolls I ever got. Next I have this awesome That's So Raven doll. Um, this is in, I think this outfit is in the second season. Um, it's so cool, I love this outfit, it's so funky, very her. I love that she wore these like big chunky heels to school um, and she's got amazing straight hair and this doll actually came with like different hair accessories. It was like a hair play doll. Um, I love this doll. I have this Galleria doll from the Cheetah Girls movie. Um, I got her when I was on a trip uh, to New York and I absolutely love this doll. I really wish I had more Cheetah Girls dolls. They were never sold in the UK so it's quite hard to find them over here but um, I absolutely love her and she came with stickers which I obviously stuck onto the doll. Next we have some Kim Possible dolls. Um, I've had loads of Kim Possible dolls over the years. Some of them got so mucky that I've thrown them away but um, these are the ones I still have. Uh, this one is a cheerleading one and she actually uh, used to have a thing that went in her back and it would get her to like kick and do some tricks, some cheerleading stuff. Um, I love this doll. Here is another one in her cheerleading outfit, um, just a kind of basic doll. I love how thick and bright her hair is. Here's a Kim Possible doll in her like kind of day-to-day -day going to school outfit. I love that Kim Possible, unlike most cartoon characters, would wear different outfits all the time. She's pulling a kind of funny face here, she's like... And this is just your standard um, Kim Possible, going on a mission doll. I absolutely love this doll, she's so cute. Now, looking towards some of the more recent Disney Channel movies, I have these um, Mal dolls, Mal, Mal, whatever, um, dolls from Disney's Descendants. Um, I don't think it really looks like Dove Cameron, but uh, I still really like these dolls. Here is uh, Mal from the first Descendants movie. Here she is from the, seconds descend the second Descendants movie. Um, I love her chunky heels, they are so cool, um, and I love her long hair. And here is Mal from the most recent Descendants movie. Um, the quality has kind of dipped in these dolls over time, but this one was quite hard to find in the UK. Um, I had to pay quite a lot of money to get her sent over from America. Um, but yeah, I wanted to have the complete collection, obviously, because I'm a collector. Now I have two dolls from uh, Camp Rock. Oh, she just lost a shoe. Um, this one is Midgey. Is that her name? Midge or something like that. Um, right at the end of the movie. This does not look like Demi Lovato, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, this is her right at the end of the movie. Um, is this her end of the movie outfit? Maybe it's not actually. I think she wears something different at the end of the movie. Um, but this is a very kind of typical Camp Rock outfit. Here is another Camp Rock doll um, of Demi Lovato. Again, doesn't really look like her. Um, I've lost her shoes, unfortunately. Uh, I don't remember her wearing this outfit in the film. Can someone let me know when she wears this outfit? I do not remember this outfit. Anyway. Now I have a whole load of Hannah Montana dolls and they come in all different shapes and sizes, these dolls. This one is just a kind of basic doll from the first season of Hannah Montana. Um, a really kind of typical Hannah outfit. I love the sparkly pink top. Um, this is a really nicely made doll by Mattel. Um, got amazing long crimped blonde hair. Here is another Hannah Montana doll from the first season. This one actually has like a reversible wig. Um, it doesn't really look very good on the other side though. 
<laughs> um, but yeah, so I normally tend to keep it this way. And she actually used to sing as well. Um, this was kind of the deluxe Hannah Montana doll. Um, she's really cute. I love her shiny gold jacket. Here is a basic kind of Miley Stewart doll. Um, very cute. I love this little kind of thing she's wearing. I don't even know what you call that. Here is another Hannah Montana doll. Um, this one uh, has a slightly different body mold. I think she was made by a different company. She wasn't. She definitely wasn't made by Mattel like the others. Um, and she actually used to sing. Doesn't work anymore. Batteries are probably dead. But I also got this one in New York. Um, very cute doll. And I also got this other Miley Cyrus doll in New York. This is like meant to be her beach outfit. Um, very cute doll. I have one Lily Trescott doll, really cute, I love the converse. And I have this Hannah Montana doll, I got her really recently, I posted a picture of her on my Instagram which got so many likes, I didn't know you guys were so um, interested in Hannah Montana dolls, so that's what inspired me to make this video basically. Um, and she's another doll with a kind of twistable uh, wig, oh I can't do it, there we go. Um, again it doesn't look very good the other way around so I'm just going to leave it. Um, this way, but this is one of her outfits from the third season. Um, I really love this skirt, very cool. This is Hannah Montana Forever doll, again a really hard doll to find in the UK, I had to send off for her, um, and her head actually fell off but I glued it back on. Um, I really like this doll, she's got really soft, beautiful, curly blonde hair. Now I have a couple Hannah Montana dolls from the Hannah Montana movie, um, oh my goodness I was so excited when this film came out. Um, here is Hannah Montana in her, uh, kind of hoedown, throwdown outfit, and she actually used to sing as well. Oh, it just makes a whoop, whoop, whoop sound. <laughs> um, but she used to sing, um, and yeah, I really like this doll, very cute. Here's another Hannah Montana doll from the Hannah Montana movie, this one was made by Mattel. Um, this is her outfit from the very beginning when she goes shopping and she has a shoe fight with, um, Tyra Banks. Um, what a weird scene. That's a strange scene. Um, but yeah, she's really cool. I love her little trainers. Um, very bright colours, which is very typical for Hannah Montana. And then I have this one. Um, this was made by another company, different to all the others. Um, very strange doll. She's got a really unusual face. Um, her fringe is awful. It won't stay down. Uh, but this is another outfit from the Hannah Montana movie. This is right at the beginning when um, she sings The Best of Both Worlds. An iconic scene, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so I do really like this doll, even though it is a very unusual doll. It definitely doesn't look like Miley, but it'll have to do. Okay, now moving on to my massive collection of High School Musical dolls. I was obsessed with High School Musical when it first came out, so of course I had to own all the dolls. Um, first of all I have these dolls which came out quite soon after the film was released. Um, I think they were kind of rushed into production because they use um, a lot of the same body sculpts and face sculpts as the Barbie line. Um, I really like this doll, this is obviously um, Gabriella in her um, Looking From the Outside, I think the song was called, uh, doll, which is probably the worst song in the movie, but it's still a bop. All the songs in High School Musical are a bop. Um, so there she is, and I think she used to sing but again, doesn't work anymore. And I have this Sharpay doll. Um, this is literally just a Barbie, isn't it? Like, they just used the Barbie sculpt. Um, but yeah, still a very cute doll. I've unfortunately lost her heels. I'm really sad about that. Um, but I've had this doll for a very long time. I think I got it when I was like 13. Um, but yeah, she's really cute. Still a really adorable doll. These are probably my favorite High School Musical dolls. Um, because I remember buying them from the Disney store with my aunt and I was really, really happy to get them. Um, and I was really happy to see High School Musical dolls in the shops. Um, this is obviously Troy and Gabriella looking adorable in their kind of um, we're all in this together outfits. And they actually used to sing together. They used to sing um, uh, Breaking Free, which was really cool. Um, I absolutely love these dolls. Now we have two more dolls uh, which came out a little bit later for um, the first High School Musical film. This is obviously Sharpay. Um, this length of trouser was very popular at the time, but it looks honestly hideous. Um, what an awkward length. Uh, but yeah, she's still very cool, this doll. She's got some cool shoes. 
Um, I love her long blonde hair. And then we have this outfit. This is from the scene where she like is looking for Gabriella in the toilet. Um, and, and everyone, whenever I watch that scene, I'm always like, how did she not see her? Because she walks right past her. But anyway, yeah, this is that outfit. It's funky, I guess. Um, not a big fan of this, like, coat. Even at the time, I was like, that is an ugly coat. Um, but yeah. Next, next we are moving on to High School Musical 2. This is when the, um, High School Musical doll line really blew up. And they just started making loads and loads and loads of dolls. Um, I have Ryan! Yay! Um, very cute doll. Uh, Ryan, in my opinion, is an LGBT icon, even though he gets a girlfriend in the last film, but we're just going to ignore that. Um, very, very cute doll. He's got his signature hat on. We have Sharpay. Um, I really like these dolls. They gave them, like, um, kind of y very young bodies. I think the body mould, uh, looks a little bit too young. They look like, kind of, 12-year-olds. Uh, more like 13 year olds, but uh, the face sculpts are still a bit more mature, and um, this is a really cute doll. Uh, I was so obsessed when I got this doll. I love the gold and red, very sharp A. I have Taylor McKessie in this very interesting dress. Um, I love her little van shoes. Uh, she's really cute. Um, beautiful, beautiful doll. We have Troy Bolton. Um, they never got Zac Efron's face right, um, in any of these dolls. Uh, it doesn't look like him at all, but still a very cute doll. We have, um, Gabriella, and she's very cute. She's got her swimsuit on underneath, um, and unfortunately she's got a massive stain on her trousers, but I mean, that's what happens when you wear all white. Um, but yeah, still a very cute doll. Um, I have this Gabriella doll. She's wearing her tea for Troy necklace. Um, this is from the scene where they uh, go on like a little picnic um, and then the sprinklers get turned on. Very cute doll. I really like this dress. Then I have Sharpay in her um, Lava Springs like country club spa day outfit. And this doll actually came with like a whole set with like a vanity and a kind of thing to wash your hair in and stuff like that. Um, very cute. Uh, this is such a short robe. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, I really like this doll. And then these three came in a set. These are obviously, um, them in their everyday, um, outfits. We have Troy, we have Gabriella, and we have Sharpay. I need to fix her hair. Um, these are all, all three of these are really cute dolls. Um, not that keen on the white suit. Interesting. Um, but these two dresses are really cute. Now, we are moving on to High School Musical 3. Um, I have this Sharpay doll. I'm pretty sure this is from High School Musical 3. Um, but yeah, she's got her, like, chunky shoes on. This is probably one of my favourite Sharpay dolls. Um, I think this outfit still looks quite cool today. It's aged quite well. Um, she's got beautiful long, long, long blonde hair. Um, yeah, I really like her. Then I have loads of dolls of the cast in their, like, prom outfits, and these all came in a big box together. I saved up my pocket money for weeks to buy it. Um, we have Gabriella. It's a shame they didn't put some feathers on the dress, um, but yeah, she looks really, really cool. Love her updo. We have Troy Bolton. Um, again, the face is not correct. Um, and neither is the hair, but uh, still a very cute doll. Love this suit. We have... Ah, oh, what's her name? Kelsey. Kelsey. We have Kelsey here. Um, this is a really cute dress. Uh, really, really adorable. I love all the netting um, and the kind of flowers on it. Very cute. We have Taylor McKessie again. Again, her hair needs to be sorted out. Um, but yeah, she looks really cute. And we have Sharpay. Um, in her amazing prom outfit, looking really cute. Um, I love her sparkly pink shoes. She looks great. All the feathers have fallen off on the front, but, you know, that happens over time. And we have two kind of university dolls. Um, we have Gabriella going to Stanford in her jumper. I really like this doll. Really cute, um, sh uh, Gabriella doll. Nearly called her Sharpe. Gabriella. <laughs> um, and we have this really cute Chad doll. Uh, my only Chad doll. Uh, he was like the only one I didn't buy from the second film for some reason. Um, but yeah, I think he looks really cute here. And this is like a really cool outfit. He's got his U of A sweater on. 
um, ripped jeans, some trainers, like, I really like this doll. Okay, doll fans, so that was my uh, Disney Channel, I nearly said High School Musical, my Disney Channel doll collection, my complete collection. Please let me know what you think of the uh, Disney Channel dolls. Please let me know if you own any, let me know um, which ones from my collection were your favourite. Please also like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram where I post loads of pictures of my doll collection. Um, and I will see you real soon, doll fans. Bye! <laughs>